Hey guys, um, this is a video just to show you how to sex Yabby and maybe a couple more tips. Um, so how you want to keep Yabby's nice clean tank, all the rest, I'll go into that in, in a, a bit, but we're going to show you how to sex a Yabby. Now this is a female Yabby, I know that because I've sexed her before. Uh, there isn't any other way to tell her like bigger claws like you would in crabs. Um, just because the, these guys, I'm, I'm not sure why, they, they need those claws, but in crabs, obviously they need them for uh, fighting against other males for the females and stuff like that. I'm just going to show you how you grab a yabby, you put your finger on its carapace, making sure you, you kind of let it know who's boss. Then right behind those claws, which I am still to this day very worried about, you just grab there. Now you want to grab there quite... There's a like there's a middle zone. It's not too hard and not too soft. Cause once you uh, flip her upside down, she's gonna start flapping a lot, and she hasn't done it yet. But okay, so she she's not doing it, which is there, there, there you go. I've, of course, I had to curse it. So you want to look at the third pair of legs. So include the bottom one, which is one, then the top one, second one, and the third one. That's the pair that you have to look at. Now, you'll see two dots there. If you can see, I'll zoom it in there. You'll see two dots on that third pair of legs from the bottom. It's not focusing as well as I'd like. But that's how you know it's a female. If I just... Yeah, there you go. You'll see two dots just over there. And that shows that that is a female yabby. You won't be able to tell with the claws or anything. Um, unless you're very experienced, you'll be able to tell that the tail is wider for her to be able to carry babies. Um... That's the only way. This Yabby's suffered enough though, so we're going to drop her back in the tank now. So it's just a little dark, so I'll turn on the, um, the torch if I could, but my phone's on low battery. So there you have the Yabby. I'm not sure if you can see her or not because my phone is low battery. Um, so I'm just going to drop her in. Now this Yabby's suffered enough. It's taken us three takes to get this video proper, but I'm just going to drop her in. And let's hope she's not going to suffer. Now you see all that food, and that's only because these guys are low maintenance. They don't need as much um, care as most people think. You see videos that say, clean your tank this many times, you know. But all you need is just some basic sand. We, I'd like an inch more sand just in there, or three centimeters more sand in there. There's enough for them. Now you'll see I haven't given them much hiding spots, and if you come around here, there's a yabby, or there's four yabbies just in that one zone there. Sorry about the, the poor quality footage, but there we go. Um, there's four yabbies in here, they will grow big. Now, this will be in another two to one year probably, where they'll double in size and they'll be about that big. But that doesn't matter for now, because maybe one might die. I'm not saying I hope they do. I'm just saying that the tank is not overcrowded until then. Um, but I will do future videos about cleaning the tanks, how much maintenance you'll require. If you have any questions, leave them down in the video below. Thank you for watching. Like, subscribe. There's more coming your way. And don't forget about the fishing videos as well. Thank you and see you later. Bye-bye.